Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna show you how you can get this really cool data mask transition effect. Now this is one of my favorite effects and I've seen it used in a ton of different rap music videos throughout the years. I think this was most popularized by ASAP Rocky's Yamborghini High music video, but I've seen it in a bunch of different projects. So without wasting too much time, I'm gonna jump right into it. But I do wanna say up front that this effect does cost 40 bucks, so you are gonna have to pay some money to get an effect similar to this. With that said, I'm not being paid to promote this product. I just really love this effect and I think that this is the easiest way to get it. So I'll also link some free alternatives in the bio, but this is my recommended approach to get this effect. So first things first is you're gonna wanna go to aescripts.com and purchase the single user license. And then once you do that, you'll be presented with a zip file. And when you unzip it, you'll see something sort of like this. Now, if you go to the installation guide, it will show you what you need to do to get this effect. You're going to want to get this ZXP installer from AE Scripts uh, as well. And then you'll just drag and drop your file into the installer and restart your After Effects. So once you're in After Effects, you're going to want to go to Window, Extensions, and then Data Mosh. Now, in order to get this transition effect, you only need to adjust the iframes. So you can actually uncheck duplicate delta frames. And then I'm going to hit data mosh. Now this will sort of add this to the render queue and we'll start exporting. If you get any weird glitchy command line looking, that's normal. Sometimes you'll have windows pop up during this process. I'm not exactly sure why it happens sometimes and not other times though. But once that's complete, you'll have a new clip in your timeline, which will be your data mosh footage. And that will look something like this. Now, this is pretty much exactly what I was looking for, and I think this looks really great. Now, hypothetically, let's say you wanted to adjust this or make it a little different. I'm gonna show you how you could do that as well. Technically, you're supposed to just be able to hit force re-render, but I noticed that sometimes when you do that, it will start adding the data mosh on top of your most recently exported data mosh footage. So my recommendation is to hide the top layer if you want to sort of like adjust the intensity and have it be a lot more intense. So then I'm just going to hide this top layer that it previously made and make sure force re-render is checked and then hit data mosh again and it'll run through the same process. And then you'll have even more intense footage. Now again, I really do think that the 25% is my favorite. I have noticed that depending on, the more you increase your intensity, sometimes it will make the clips a little shorter just because they're getting rid of some of those iframes. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now they also have some settings in here where you can adjust the delta frames. So some of these presets actually don't even do the iframe removal. They only use the delta frames, which kind of gives you a completely different effect. So at the end of this video, I'm just going to show some different examples of these presets, but that's not really something I'm going to cover in depth because it's pretty simple to just click a preset and then, you know, hit data mosh. So I hope that this is helpful and you guys can use this for your music video footage because I think this is a really unique effect that will give you this fun sort of glitchy vaporwave feel to your projects. So if you found this at all helpful, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel because it helps me out a ton. Until next time, guys.